Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use bitmaps effectively in Flash and how to make the most out of them. I'm just going to paste in an image I got from Google Images to show as an example. Okay, once it's pasted into Flash, it's in the library, but also if you go up here to the color palette and go to the drop down menu and go to bitmap fill, you can see it's embedded in there as well. And it, you can see it here as well in the paint can. If I just delete this off the stage, and if I choose any of the brushes or uh, shape tools and I start painting, when you click off, it will the, the texture will have been painted on, so it creates quite a nice effect. And this works with any of them. Uh, it can even work with text, but it works slightly differently if I just make some text like this. What you need to do is select it and then go Apple B or Control B twice to break it apart and then select it again go to bitmap fill and as you can see it's filled it with the texture okay if I just go back to the library and select it and draw it back into the stage what you can also do is use a very helpful function called trace bitmap if you go to modify bitmap trace bitmap and basically what this does is Flash will automatically trace the bitmap and convert the pixels into sort of flash ink as it were so it just appears as if it's just an image which was made in flash but obviously it isn't so and what these numbers are these are the threshold basically and this determines how accurately it is traced by flash so if I did one and one it would start tracing it but it would take a, a very long time because it's such a detailed trace and it would also slow the flash down immensely as you can see it's already starting to crash I'm just going to stop that um, also if you did use that it, it, and played it the flash would run significantly slower so I would not recommend using that threshold um, for an image like this depending on the size I would probably recommend about 20 for both as you can see if I zoom in slightly. Yeah, this would um, create quite a nice background, but then again, it's still not that accurate. So if I just go back again, I think it's, it's almost best to play around with the numbers, but I think about 15 would probably do nicely for this one. So yeah, this would probably make quite a nice background for Flash and also doesn't seem to be making it run too slowly, although, you know, I might have to, you can then, you know, obviously you can just mess around a bit and just chop it about because it's now a flash ink. Keep in mind about another useful function, which is the swap bitmap function. Now, if I just copy a different image here, if I go modify bitmap, swap bitmap, you can just swap it out with all of the bitmaps in your library. And it, it's just handy if you've got an image in a specific place and you don't want to faff around with moving them around. So that's something to bear in mind. Another great technique is to use the bitmaps with the mask function and you can create some really nice effects with this. If I just put this on this layer and then insert new layer, I'm just going to lock this for the moment. Okay, I'm just going to make uh, just a black square I'm going to make it into a symbol by pressing F8. I'm going to make it into a movie clip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go create classic tween. I'm just going to extend um, the timer on the on the bitmap layer to about 100 by pressing F5. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to about 30, press F6 to keyframe. Going to make it move all around. As you can see, it's moving like that. And then I'm going to right click on this layer, go mask, and then if you just press play, it will work like that. And obviously, you can make this more complicated and you can create some really interesting effects of it. I hope you found these techniques useful. If you want to see some more tutorials like this, please subscribe.